Hi guys, another rubber band power project. Got the old favourite, a Pringles tube. It's a cardboard tube. Actually has a metal end, which may or may not be a benefit. Now this one I've already marked up, but I'll just show you how to do it. You need to draw a line along there and then push through two holes so that you get your axles parallel. So, the easy thing to do is just use a piece of wood so it's flat and then just draw your line along and then turn it round and do the same on the other side, line along and that keeps them parallel and then so that you get them the same distance from the end, so they're parallel end to end, same thing. You can see I've already drilled the holes here because I've already done this once. Okay, so you end up with a cross to drill your hole through. So I've pushed holes through, you need a sharp pointy stick to do that, or you could use a drill or a nail, and that is actually enough. You could at this point push a barbecue skewer through, and you've got a, a running car. To attach a rubber band to it, we need another hole at the front here somewhere to actually poke the rubber band through so it goes in and up through the middle. I think I'll put it on the bottom here. Slowly making it bigger. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put a drinking straw through those holes. I'll have to make them a bit bigger because cardboard on its own is not a very good rubbing surface or a bearing. So if we line it with plastic it'll work better, the car will go further. The other thing you can do, which I have shown in some other videos, is you can use super glue to soak into the cardboard and that stiffens it up and gives it a nice hard surface, which is a good um, friction surface. But I'll just make those bigger so we can get the tube through. Do it carefully. Okay, that should be all right at that end. Same at the other end. And what I'm going to do is, once I've got the plastic tubes in place, I go and spray paint this so it looks a little bit prettier. So that's through OK. We can cut that off. And at the other end, push it all the way through. But what we will need to do is cut a hole in the middle so we can actually get to the axle 
to get the rubber band through. So we'll, we'll glue it like that first. I'll use hot glue, but then we'll cut the middle out. So I'll glue that, spray paint it, and then we'll come back. There we go. Ready for spray painting. I've cut the gap in the back there in the back axle tube and used the bits to give us these on the front. The um, that be exhaust outlets. When we spray painted it, it will all be the same colour. Just trim that bit off as well. Right, spray paint. Well, there we are, painted. Wheels in place, just the normal CDs with bottle tops and barbecue skewers for the axles. We've got a little friend sitting in there. I've given him a steering wheel. So we need to pop a rubber band up inside, wind it up and let it go. Push the rubber band through the hole I've just got another little bit of barbecue skewer there and a couple of bits of blue tack just to hold it in place. Then I've got my hook on the end of a, another barbecue skewer so we can reach inside and get hold of it. So I'll wind it around the back axle. We could put a little T piece on there to hook it onto, which might be the easiest thing to do. Or we can just wind it like that. I suspect this one might be light enough for us to get wheel spin. But we'll see if we can get away without it. If we do get wheel spin, then we'll have to put tyres on the wheels. There's a link in the video description on how to do that. <laughs> well, that was nice and straight. Raining outside. Yeah, not a good day to be outdoors. Summary time, what have we got? We've got a pretty rubber band powered car this time. I used a Pringles tube, cardboard tube for the body. Just the usual stuff, drilled holes in it. We've got barbecue skewers for the axles, um, drinking straws for the axle tubes, going right the way through at the front and 
right the way through at the back but then cut off short so we've got access to the axle to wind the rubber band through. Uh, the wheels are ordinary CDs with plastic bottle tops for the hubs. I did spray paint it to make it look pretty. These little bits here are just drinking straws cut short and glued on the side. Um, his little cockpit is toilet roll cut up and he just sits in there and he's got his detachable steering wheel. Oh, the rubber band goes in through a hole at the bottom there and it's looped around that piece of barbecue skewer to stop it pulling through. And a couple of bits of blue tack there as well just to hold it in place. And the, the CDs have got sticky coloured, sticky backed plastic uh, to make them look pretty. Sorry mate, you fell out. So there we go, another rubber band powered car.